Welcome to the Church of the Holy Family for our celebration of the Solemnity of Pentecost. Please note that we will distribute Holy Communion after the final blessing at the end of Mass instead of at its regular time. Priest's intention for this Mass is for uh, Irvin Pastrusta. Something like that. We gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. As we gather for this celebration, we call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us for our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Praise God by praying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language? We are all Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works, pleasing to him by his theme, by my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away your breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The second reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free people, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle them the fire of your love. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and he said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Two brothers grew up on a farm area near Georgia. One brother took to education like a duck to water. He graduated from Georgia Tech and became a renowned engineer in Chicago. The other brother was content to stay home and farm. Some years later, the learned brother was invited to give a speech in Atlanta at Peachtree Plaza Hotel. He had not seen his brother in a long while, and so he invited him to bring his family to the hotel and spend a little time with him. The rural brother had never been in a city bigger than their little rural town. He and his wife and son piled into their pickup truck and headed for Atlanta. After some terrifying experiences on the interstate highways, they pulled up in front of the peach tree plaza. The farmer left his wife in the truck, and he and his son went inside to check in. Just inside the entrance were a number of elevators. The farmer had never seen one of those before, and he watched a, very, he watched a large, a very plain, middle-aged lady step inside one of those little rooms. 
The door closed, and after about a minute, the door opens, and out stepped a young lady who was a vision of loveliness. The farmer's eyes bugged out. Quickly, he punched his son and said, boy, go get your ma. I'm going to run her through this thing one time. My providing source for this story concludes, at Pentecost, a ragged aggression of misfits was transformed into a dis disciplined team of spiritual stormtroopers. The wimps became warriors. I'm sure you are well aware that this weekend we are celebrating the Feast of Pente Pentecost when the greatest gift of all times was given to humankind in the form of the Holy Spirit. This gift is still being given to those who are open to receiving it and the awesome powers that it brings along with it. We may have heard this particular gospel passage a number of times, but this particular year, it may become what is known as living scripture. Whenever a scripture context totally grabs our attention or this or in this context makes us cringe all of a sudden, the words become more than words in print. They become living and take on immediate meaning, meaning in our current situation. For example, in today's gospel, after Jesus had offered the disciples peace, and before offering them the Holy Spirit, he breathed on them. As we are painfully aware in our present age of COVID-19, the concept of breathing on another person at this time is far from kosher. As much as many folks have had to rely on ventilators to sustain their lives from the COVID beast, it would be all in our best interest to have the Holy Spirit poured upon us, dumped on us, or for that fact, breathed upon us. Whatever it takes to get it, we should be trying to get as much of it as we can get. Some interesting definitions. The de definition of a pandemic is an outbreak of a disease that occurs over a wide geographic area and affects an exceptionally large proportion of the population. A epidemic is an outbreak of disease that spreads quickly and affects many individuals at the same time. A pandemic is a kind of epidemic, one which has spread across a wider geographic range than an epidemic and which has affected a significant portion of the population. I suppose you're wondering, where am I headed with this? I, it would seem that we are experiencing both. Unless you have been on a deserted island, totally out of touch with the world, we have two major issues on our plate that aren't going away anytime soon or easy. That being COVID-19 and anger that's gotten ugly. We, when we allow our anger to become rage, we begin to act like animals and we can follow the herd that we find ourselves in. Some of us now will begin to disconnect and say to ourselves, Oh, he's talking about the crazy protesting in the Twin Cities, and I have no part of that, so I'm done listening. Well, maybe so, but the primary message of Pentecost is what Jesus first said when he entered into the room of his frightened friends who were hiding behind locked doors. He said, peace be with you. In many ways, because all because of all that we have been going through, we are wound really tight and ready to snap. We can be quick to respond and react to situations when we should just take a deep breath and listen to the Lord tell us, peace be with you. I had one of those events this past week while coming back from Hutchinson. 
Obviously, my going over the speed limit wasn't fast enough for the guy behind me. So as he flew by me, he flipped me off. I wanted to wave back, but the Lord said, be at peace, Michael, and somehow I maintained. With all that's going on, we may be feeling like our fuel tanks are nearly empty, that we are nearing the end of our rope. Then there are always those who have the audacity to tell us, hey, never give in and never give up. The renowned Italian violinist, violist, cellist, guitarist, and composer Niccolo Pagani was due to perform one night in a very prestigious concert hall in Paris. Even as he walked onto the stage, the audience stood up and cheered with irrespectable uh, excitement and heartwarming esteem. Resisting, uh, resting his violin under his chin, the celebrated musician began to play with such dexterity and brilliance that the audience listened with spellbound silence. Suddenly, one of the strings on the violin snapped, but the supreme professional was not deterred. On the contrary, he continued to play with three strings, and the music was just as fascinating and impressive. Moments later, a second string snapped, and minutes later, the third. The audience gasped in stunned disbelief. What was Pagani going to do? Would he bow and leave regretfully? Without losing his cool, the famous maestro raised his hand, called for silence, and announced, Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to hear Pagani on one string. What followed thereafter literally took everyone's breath away. The performance was flawless, the music exquisite, the entertainment heavily, and just on one string. The moral of the story is, so it goes with the uh, incomparable touch of the master's hand in our lives, describing the singular and marvelous role the Holy Spirit can have to make our own lives into working masterpieces. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we continue on our journey of life, living with the Spirit, we call upon the Lord with our needs.
that this celebration of birth of the mission of the church on this day might be a moment of renewal in the Holy Spirit for our community. For the church, we pray to the Lord. The Lord. Hear our prayer. That justice might be accomplished and order be restored in our state. For peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations and peoples might guide us with compassion and a concern for the common good and the well being of all people. For our leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. That the generous gift of the Holy Spirit might make us a generous people. For the unemployed, the poor, and the oppressed, we pray to the Lord. Lord that through our prayer and faithful ministry, the healing gift of the Holy Spirit might be poured out upon us. For the sick, especially those touched by COVID-19, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit might sustain us in our ministry of healing the wounds of abuse in our church and community. For victims and survivors of abuse, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That God might pour out his spirit into the hearts of our young people and inspire them to proclaim the gospel. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, religious life, and marriage, we pray to the Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters might celebrate this feast in the presence of God in heaven. For the dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the Holy Spirit might fill our hearts with faith in God's goodness, our minds with hope in his promises, and our lives with the love of our neighbors. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear. Loving God, we bring before you all of our needs and ask that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'd be used to a collection. Uh, however, we're not doing that. Um, baskets have been provided by the doors for you to drop your donations there. So we will continue with the Mass. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For beginning for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of earth in profession 
of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit to graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Kingdom come. Thy will be done. 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 Thy will be Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You can now for each other who are connected, peace waves are fine. Lamb of God. Now this is where the change happens uh, for our mass. Uh, at this point, we stop mass and jump ahead. So uh, what I mean by that is now we jump ahead to the announcements, the closing prayer, the final blessing, and then um, we'll pick up what we'll do. Oh. What, what we'll do is then we pick up the Behold the Lamb of God line, and then your part is, Lord, I'm not worthy. But also because we're recording, we will pray the spiritual prayer, communion prayer for all those who are not able to be with us. So we'll put that in there. And then according to the mandate, I have to purify my hands, put my mask on, and then bring you communion and you will do your social distancing, single file, and then you go and live happy ever after. <laughs> Healthy ever after. Now I gotta remember what I all just said I'm doing. Oh, okay, so. <clears throat> we got to live by the rules, you know, okay. So let's see if we have any announcements here. Please remember to take a bulletin and to leave your, uh, yeah, as I mentioned, there's collection spots or baskets. Um, while I, I should have read these beforehand so I know what I'm saying, but I'll read what Father Tony put in here. Uh, while we know that you would uh, like to visit with, the, with each other, uh, we do ask that you visit outside while we and remember to maintain safe distance among yourselves. If you would be willing to help to sanitize the church after masses, uh, we could use your help. If you would be willing to be part of a team to help sanitize on a regular basis during this phase of our worship, please contact Shirley Nowak at uh, St. Philip, uh, uh, St. Pius X. Parish office. Okay. I can't remember what I'm doing. Okay. So let us pray. Oh. 
O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that uh, the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And for our brothers and sisters who are not able to be with us, my Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. 